Okay, and just finally, Ed, what's, what's the sort of schedule for 2018? We know this is your this is your first card. Yeah. What's the sort of schedule for 2018? Just planning it now. I mean, we've got February the 3rd at the O2. We're going to be looking to do a next gen at the end of February. Possibility of Yafi boxing on a Superfly card on February the 24th. We've got Kel Brook returning to action on March the 3rd against Rabchenko. We've got Anthony Joshua hopefully unifying against Joseph Parker on March uh, the 20. Uh, uh, 4th or April the 7th oh, sorry 31st or April the 7th we've got Katie Taylor we want to take her back to the island as well um, we want to go to Newcastle with Josh Kelly and Lewis Ritson we've got Hay against Bellevue on May the 5th um, other big fights and world title plans in the mix at the moment so really just same same as 2017 but even bigger Does Taz Fury fit into any of your plans in the future? In the future, hopefully. I mean, look, you know, we, we deal with reality. You know, we're, we're here. We're very consistent. Anthony Joshua is very consistent. He's always in the gym. He's always ready to fight anyone. So it's not really down to us. I mean, he, I've seen his tech, his tweets about one in 60%. I mean... He you, you wants, yeah. He wants, he wants 60, yeah. Uh, yeah. So obviously, I think everyone understands he don't really want the fight at the moment. But, but let's not talk about the Fury fight until we're in a position to talk about it. We really would love to make that fight, but there's no point. We deal with reality, not fantasy. So let's see him back in the gym. And let's let's you know. Hopefully, I think 2019 before that fight's ready. You know, we want the belts. We want Parker. We want Wilder. And hopefully, 2018 will bring that. Ed, sign me out in style. I'm gonna give you the mic. Okay. I'm gonna let you sign me out in style. Fight hype. So the fight hype followers in the UK and the US. We hope you had a wonderful 2017. What a year it's been. Breaking history, 90,000 at Wembley for Klitschko against Joshua. A few months later, 80,000 at Millennium Stadium for the Takan fight. Hay against Bellew in March was a cracker. You know, Anthony Joshua has been become one of the biggest stars in the sport. Kel Brook boxed Errol Spence in front of 27,000 at Bramwell Lane. It's a wonderful event. Um, Ricky Burns tried to unify the division earlier on against Ndongo. Then we had Ndongo against Crawford for the undisputed championship of the world. We had a great fight between Burns against Crawler. We had Ryan Burnett winning the world title and then unifying the, the title in his next fight. We had Katie Taylor becoming a star and winning. Wonderful year. Thank you for all your support. Have a great 2018. We'll see you UK and stateside taking over. Another level, baby.